Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try and Thin, the channel likes Try and Thin, so you don't have to. In today's video, we're going back to the late 80s with the Casio that we have featured here, more specifically with that being the Casio CA53 digital calculator watch. So as usual with the watch reviews that we undertake on the We Try Anything channel, we will be looking around the actual Casio CA53, highlighting some of the materials used, the design of the watch, and mentioning some of the sizes along the way. We'll then go through some of the functions that this watch has to offer, pop it on our wrist, and say what it is like to wear. There will be links to the instructions of this watch in the description box below, as well as an Amazon affiliate link if you wish to find out more about this watch or even purchase this very model. So to start things off, the Casio CA53 is very much a vintage watch from the 1980s. And with this model being introduced in 1988, it is a watch that really has stood the test of time in terms of design and its retro appeal. It is also a successor to the Casio CA50 digital calculator watch that was released four years earlier. That was famously worn by Martin McFly in the original Back to the Future movie with this CA53 being worn by the same character in the latter Back to the Future movies with that being two and three. As well as being featured in the two later sequels of the Back to the Fu Future movies, this Casio 50, CA53 that we have featured here has also been worn by some very well-known characters in other large TV shows. And to mention a few, uh, you can there's Walter White in Breaking Bad, Huey Campbell in The Boys, which is on Amazon Prime, Mr. Bean, which is obviously acted by Mr. Rowan Atkinson, Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight, and you can even find this watch adorning Mike Wheeler's wrist in Stranger Things, to mention a few. So the Casio CA53 calculator watch does have some very big popular culture associations. So to kick things off, as you can see, this watch does have a black matte plastic case going on uh, just to the obviously just to what the actual module sits in and just talking about the module it is module number 3208 but as I say it is a, a matte black plastic affair going on here and if that isn't to your taste you can get this watch in other colors but I believe the other colors will be with a negative display as opposed to this one which is a, uh, a positive one um, but as I say you can get this watch in other colors now the case also features what would be one metal pusher uh, which is proud of the actual case going on here and you do have another recessed metal pusher going on around the side of the case. Now talking of the case it is a width of what would be a 34, 34.4 millimetres and um, from top to bottom of what is known as lug to lug you are looking at 43 millimetres approximately and the case thickness measures at 8.2 millimetres. Moving on to the strap, it does have an inner, what would be known as an inner lug width of 20 millimeters, and this strap is a black resin affair going on here. Pretty standard for these kind of Casio watches that we have featured on the channel, but it doesn't have any kind of, you know, the actual what would be the ribbon is quite, it's quite shallow really. So this watch it does make this watch a lot more comfortable to wear on the wrist. Now the actual resin strap, the black resin strap here, which has a width of 24 millimeters near the actual case and as you taper down to the actual end of the strap you are looking at about 18 millimeters in width now this watch is not a heavy watch by any stretch of the imagination and it is very quite lightweight to say the least and you are looking at around 24 grams in weight which is just it's just so very lightweight in in the way it feels now going on to the actual display, what you can see, the actual materials used on the, the digital display going on here, you do have a what is an a, acrylic plastic glass. Now the only thing to mention with this, as I've mentioned on a lot of the actual Casios I have featured on this channel, it is prone to scratching, but this example here, which I managed to acquire from eBay, is very well worn, well it's not well worn, it's been very well looked after, so props to the actual person who had this before me. Now on the back you do have um, a stainless steel back where you can see all the details going on here with the module number and the actual model number of this watch, and it is a stainless steel back as I mentioned, and it also mentions that the watch is water resistant. Now it is water resistant, but it is more splash resistant, so 
uh, I would try and keep it away from water really because it's not as water resistant as something with a like a, an actual depth mentioned to it so just I, I'd, if, if anything I'd keep it away from water if, if you can this watch is powered by what would be a quartz movement which has an accuracy of plus and minus 15 seconds per month which makes this watch quite an accurate watch to wear and that is powered by a what is a CR2016 battery and it should last up to about five years depending on you so the more you use the watch the less time you have with the actual battery so just bear that in mind now talking about the rest of the front of the watch as you can see what makes up the actual calculator watch is the actual keypad that you will see feature that you will see featured here now it is a four by four uh, row of keys that are rubberized now this also reminds me of something that i did also have at the in the 80s which is what would be the sinclair zx spectrum and obviously the these keys on this watch here do re are reminiscent of this computer which was a very popular computer in the time now this is a replica here i'm not going to even pretend that it's a real one i think uh, the real one unfortunately is a uh, long since, since demise and it is a computer that i am looking to get hold of again but it is reminiscent of that very uh, what would be a very popular uk home computer so it does have you know a lot of 80s nostalgia for me this watch but it is rubberized and also each of the keys are singular in their operation and it's it's not like what you would get here which is the casio db c32 where it's obviously a bit more of an upmarket calculator or watch stroke data bank where these keys are a little bit more um how can i say a little bit more they, well they are plastic and i find that the keys on this are a bit easier to operate than they are on this but obviously this is a bit more of a more uh, as it were higher price range and a little bit more specified watch now moving on from the keys of this watch uh, you are looking at it does have a simplistic display going on here so you do have obviously um, what would be the day of the week uh, and obviously the time that's listed here but you can also view the date as well if you so wish by just pressing that button here the top right hand button and it does also indicate on the actual uh, what would be the keypad so it is a little bit dusty as i say i've been wearing it um you do get other operations that the keypad will do depending on the mode that it's in so obviously if i want to see the date i'll just press the top right hand button now the only thing i will say about this date which totally flummoxed me was that the the actual range in which the date is featured now strangely for casio it's featuring the year the month and then the date within the month so just bear that in mind because i it it does feature an auto calendar so when you do set the date on this watch um it will feature the day of the week you can't change that yourself and that goes up to 2099 but i was trying to put in 30 11 22 and it just kept saying friday and obviously I, got, I i had to go on the web and see why i couldn't change the actual date to what would be the correct day of the week and that was because of the way that casio had done it on this watch where it's the year the month and the day with or the dates within the month so bear that in mind when you've got this watch that the actual date isn't <laughs> it's not what would be a, a common sense way of featuring the date so i hope that helps you in when you are trying to set the date on these type of watches but i will be doing a, a tutorial vi video of this watch coming soon so in terms of as i said it's not that I, i've mentioned it's a little less fiddly to operate with than the casio dbc 32 which i have featured in another video which i have will link to above but it's it's not that hard to use i mean you can easily operate the um keys and especially it's not that hard to operate on the wrist but you do have to stop pause and then press the keys as and when you're using it so if you are in a pinch with the calculator then this watch you can use but just bear in mind it's not the easiest but then it's not overly complicated in the, its way of use now the other thing to mention this white list watch does not feature in any way any form of backlighting or led lighting or anything like that which is a massive shame for this watch i think especially with modern day technology i think they could have in theory incorporated this one uh, aspect you know even electroluminescent display if you wanted to pay a little bit more for that option i think it would make this watch a little bit more versatile in its operation but in low light i mean obviously the display is not that hard to read it's quite easy um but it, it is if you are looking at if you are looking at owning a watch like this then 
night time, you, you won't be able to see the time in this unless you have got any form of illumination near you that you can just put this watch up next to. And also, I, I believe this, as I say, this watch does come in different colors. Now the different colors do feature a negative display and it is a little bit more harder to read than what you have here. So just bear that in mind if you are looking for a watch like this. Now, as I've said, it does have an auto calendar which goes up to 2099 and it also features what would be a 12 and 24 hour format that can be done while you're doing the adjustments. You're just gonna press the keypad. Now also going on about the other features that this watch has, it does obviously have, if I press the mode button, it does have the calculator. Now this is an eight digit display calculator, which, which if I press the buttons going on here, now as you can see, I pressed the decimal point by accident. So it does have a decimal point going on as well. And you can go up to, as you can see, eight, uh, this it is an eight digit display and also it will show you when you say for example if I did times um, times like five four three two one if the actual calculation is more than what the watch can display it will display what would be an overflow function as well which is um, let me just see if I can if I see if I can just go up to what it can't feature. So it will display the E, which is I believe is an overflow uh, indicator as well. So it will it will calculate, and obviously you can't operate the calculations from there. So it is a simplistic calculator. It does have the four basic functions that you can use. It does that feature some of the little bits and pieces, which are a little bit over my head, so I'm not gonna talk about them here, but you can view them in the instructions uh, listed below. But if you are in a pinch, then you can use this watch to do the kind of simple ca calculations, which will help you uh, go about your day, really. So it does have that very nice feature. And I have tried using these buttons while on the wrist, and even though it's not perfect, you can still use them. So not too bad, really. So the next function is that it has a, what would be an alarm function going on here, where it has a daily alarm, so the alarm will go off at that specific time each day while the alarm is activated. And it also features an hourly time signal which can be turned on and off, which means the watch will beep on the hour every hour. Also, this watch has what's known as dual time, which is you can feature two different times on this watch, which is user setable. It obviously, it doesn't uh, go with whatever universal time or anything, GMT or anything like that. You do have to set it yourself, but you can, um, as it were, set it if you were going to travel to another different time zone or if you were talking to loved ones in, say, other parts of the world, you can set that watch up so you can see what time it is on their side of the world, really, which is handy for a little watch of this nature, really. The other thing to mention is that it does also have a stopwatch, which is operated by these little buttons going on here. So it will measure in a hundredth of a second, and that will go up to uh, 24 hours before it resets again. And this will also feature, um, if I just reset, it also features what is elapsed time, split time, which I'm just showing you here. And it also does what is known as first and second place times. So going back to the time, so after talking about all the features that this watch has, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what this watch is like to wear. So on the wrist, I've got to say, this watch is a very, very comfortable watch to wear. I mean, obviously with its flat nature, um, it's not the, the tallest of watches. It does sit very well on the wrist. And I've got to say, it is a very nice, it's kind of like a technical looking watch. It has that very nice keypad vibe, which you can, you know, that retro keypad vibe from the 80s. And it does feel really comfortable on the wrist. There's very little inhibition to the hand because obviously not the widest of watches. And also, as there's no real kind of ridges or any ribs to the actual strap that's on this watch, it just doesn't pinch whatsoever. Now, I've got to say, I really do like the look of this watch. I mean, I, do, I say that with a lot of Casios, but it just has that very 80s vibe for me. And that, that, as I say, like it's something that just reminds me of growing up in the 80s and looking at watches like this and just seeing how miniaturization is occurring, really, and just being fascinated by how you can wear these sort of things on your wrist, really, which obviously up to nowadays, you know, like with the Apple Watch and uh, all sorts of amaze fit watches and any kind of smart watch which watch really which I don't know it just makes these look like watches from yesteryear but I mean they are really and I just think they have an added appeal because of that because there's no Bluetooth there's no connection apps or anything like that it is a very simplistic watch to wear to glean the time from but the only thing I will say is just I wish they had a backlight on this watch. It just make the watch so more versatile, more user friendly, really, especially if you're in a nighttime situation or you're out of an evening or even just on your bedside, really, you just want to quickly glean the time. Then this watch 
it, it's going to be quite a hard watch to read any form of time from at that hour in the evening, really. Um, but as I say, operating the, operating the calculator on the wrist, you have to just take a little bit more time just to, just to operate it. And But you can still do it. It's very easy to do. Um, more so, I would say, than obviously what I've featured before, which is the Casio DBC32. But other than that, if you really are after, how can I say, a watch that has that a really nice dare I say iconic appeal to it for someone who loves that retro 80s chic or to, you want something just looks a bit more sci-fi or anything like that then this watch is definitely well worth adding to your collection it has a lot of features including the calculators I've mentioned stopwatch daily alarm etc and as I say if, if this version doesn't float your boat and you like the negative one with different colors then there, there is that option available but if you wanted to say a watch that's just got a little bit more to it then maybe consider dbc32 but if not if you want a simplistic watch that's easy to wear it looks very good on the wrist and uh, i don't know it's not very it's not expensive it is an affordable watch it's got that five year battery and stuff like that then don't look any further than the casio ca53 it has a lot of popular culture references as well obviously being featured by the movies that I mentioned earlier and I've got to say it is a great looking watch so if you like this review the Casio CA 53 then click on the like button always helps the channel if you want to see more watches from the we try anything channel or any tutorials or any other videos coming soon to the we try anything channel then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this review and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye